First of all, let me just linger on some crazy ideas. So yeah. uh, one, the strong force, just stepping out and looking at all the physics. Is it weird to you that there's these forces and they're very particular, like it operates at a very small distance and then gravity operates at a very large distance and, and they're all very specific and the standard model describes uh, three of those forces extremely well and there's and this is one of them and yeah this is one of them <laughs> yeah. and it's just all kind of works yeah. out there's a, a big part of you that's uh you know an engineer that you st step back and almost look at the philosophy of physics so it's interesting because as a scientist i see the universe through that lens of essentially the interesting things that we do are through the forces that are get used around those and everything works because of that Richard Feynman had, uh, I don't know if you ever read Richard Feynman, it's a little bit of a tangent, but. He's never been on the podcast. He's never been on the podcast. He yeah. was unfortunately passed away, but one of like a, a, like a hero to almost all, all yes. physicists. And a part of it was because of what you said, he kind of looked through a different lens at these, what are typically look like very dry, like equations and relationships. And he kind of, I think he brought out the wonder of it in some sense, right, for, for those he posited what would be, if you could write down a single, not even really a sentence, but a, a single concept that was the most important thing scientifically that we that we knew about, that in other words, you had only one thing that you could transmit, like a future or past generation. It was very interesting. It was, um, so it's not what you think. It wasn't like, oh, strong nuclear force or yeah. fusion or something like this. And it's very profound, which was, he was, that the reason that matter operates the way that it does is because all matter is made up of individual particles that interact with each other through forces. That was it. So just that atomic theory basically. Yeah. yeah. Which is like, wow, that's like so simple, but it's not so simple. It's because like wh who thinks about atoms that they're made out of? Like I, I this is a good this is a good question I give to my students. How many atoms are in your body? Like almost no students can answer this. But to me, that's like a fundamental thing. Yeah. By the way, it's about ten to the twenty eight. Ten to the twenty eight. <laughs> so that's uh, you know trillion, you know million, trillion, trillion, or something like that. Yes. Yeah. So one thing is to think about the number, and the other is to start to really ponder the fact that it all holds together. Yeah, it all holds together, and you're actually that you're more that than you are anything else.